the El Salvador Guitar Man with another review. Today, I'm going to be looking at Gunslinger Girl, a great anime. The DVD is worth it. If you want the complete collection, you can pick it up online at um, I'm estimated 50 Or if you can find it on shelves for 60 that's what I got this for. It's was worth the money. Anyways, on to the point. Gunslinger Girl. Overall, pretty, really well done. Um, no flaws, I would have to say, other than... I wish it did have a plot. It was more of like a, kind of like a documentary thing. Where it just shows the lives of them and how they are. But overall, even if it did, if it did have a plot or not, it was still very well done. The animation was great. The voices were great. Ah, I just, yeah. Anyways, now about it. Gunslinger Girl follows the adventures of Henrietta, Triella, Rico, Angelica, and Kleiss, all Italian girls that work in an agency, and they're cyborgs, they're adolescent cyborgs. As the title says, the girl has a mechanical body, however, she is still an adolescent child. Which is exactly what they are. They work for this agency. They are trained with guns to carry out these missions. It was basically it's basically a test to see if they can improve um, humanity. But <laughs> as it said again on on this at the back this time, it says every weapon has its flaw. These girls they think their partners. Some of them carry. Of them, the cyborgs, some of them not care, but they still, <clears throat> sorry, uh, always think they have feelings. They always, uh, they don't, actually, um, in the end, most of them had feelings for them, but along the way, they don't. Sometimes they just think, oh, they're just cyborgs, they can't do anything. But they do, they, what they don't know is that they actually do have feelings. They have feelings, they have these adolescent child, they, you take an adolescent child, and you give it a cyborg bo body, you wipe its memory, but it's still the same person. You just need to develop it. Which, I love how, th I love that saying, every weapon has its flaw. Which is so true, especially in this anime. It proves it. That, yeah, every weapon has its flaw. Anyways, <clears throat> back to the, back, now back to the review part. Um, yeah, I watched it, um, well, like, I say probably last year or something, or early this year, but I, yeah, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. The first season was mainly a, around the girl of Henrietta, uh, a sweet young girl, yeah, really. Um, just follows her and her fratello, or brother, if you know, Italian, which this anime takes place in Italy, if you're wondering about this. But uh, yeah, it basically takes place in Italy with that, and the first season is mainly around Henrietta and her fratello, or brother. But then the second season is, I would say it's mostly around all of them, but mostly Triella. And Triella's one of my favorite characters, actually. Uh, she's more... She's actually more proof that every weapon has its flaw. She is more... She's, she's, um, I'm guessing 16, and she has this, like, uh, like, like, teenage girl attitude that fits with her character since she is a teenager, of course. Uh, but yeah, it, uh, Il Teatrino is the name of the second season, which I found kind of, I don't know if it's right or wrong, because it, it translates to the theater. But I don't really think it has a theater theme to it. But the artwork is very beautiful. I'll show you. Uh, okay, hold on. I'll show you both. Okay, so this is uh, the first season. Season 1. It has a serious animation to it, like Death Note. But it, it's... it Yeah, it's serious. But then when you get to Il Teatrino, which is a beautiful artwork. I really like the artwork. It's really European style. It's more of a really child. It's more of a childish thing, um, which um, I, I was a bit disappointed about the animation change, but it did fit with it. I would I will admit, and the OVAs, the OVAs were great. The OVAs are for El Teatro, 
they were they were really great. I would definitely recommend this anime. If you want to watch it, go right ahead. It's on Netflix now. <laughs> if you want to go buy it, um, go and get it. I really like it. So, um, overall, I would give it <laughs> what it says on the box. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 is a good rating to give it. Hold on. Okay, no one's there. <laughs> I thought I heard someone at my door. Anyways. But yeah, 8 out of 10 is the perfect rating for it. It's strong. It's good. <laughs> The animations. Also, actually, another. Uh, I know. I, I know. I promised I would keep myself more organized with the flaws and stuff, but I just remembered this now. Um, they changed the voice, the Japanese voice actors, and I think only one of the English voice actors for the second season. Which, well, I didn't watch the Japanese. I watched the English at first. I might watch the Japanese. I don't know when, but um, I wish they. I usually like it when they keep original voice actors. That way you get the same feeling instead of instead of just these different voices you're trying to think like oh that's that's not her voice I do not want her to have this voice or him I don't want him to have this voice either I love the original voice but uh, like I said they only changed one person in the <coughs> excuse me uh, for the second season in the English dub um, but the voice did fit at, the, at least it did. But yeah, 8 out of 10 is what I give it. I promise I'll be more organized next time. But 8 out of 10, that's a good rating. I would highly recommend you watch it if you want to give it a try. Go right ahead. No one's stopping you. This was the Osaka Tournament with Gunsuit Girl. See you next time.